giving stiff wear. <laughs> Just Chanel here. Hey guys, Just Chanel here. Welcome to my channel. We are kicking off my birthday weekend. So today's video is a little get ready with me. I'm about to get my nails done. Girl, I'm actually taking my nails off right now because, you know, I don't want to go in there with like half the nails still on it just takes longer so yeah I'm trying to get them off but I'm getting my nails done getting my hair done today I literally have not gotten my hair done since before the pandemic so I'm pretty excited about that definitely need a little trim or whatever I need to go get a petty and hopefully I have time to like get my eyebrows done which I generally only get threaded like three to four times a year it always goes like Valentine's Day my birthday and then late like summer fall whatever that trip is and then around Christmas so yeah we will see um, how much I can actually get done today I woke up this morning I am in a great spirits I woke up really early y'all I got some work done um, packages went out it is Friday this was the last day for the birthday box shipment so excited about that I have my tumbler here I've been drinking my water I had my love thy liver already um, I love thy liver actually restocks on my birthday and you guys are probably gonna watch this video on my birthday so Go get your love that liver girl. Hopefully it's not already sold out. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get right into this vlog. I'm so excited. Let's get our day started. Ooh, hopefully we can get like some good food. Maybe I even put on like a cute little outfit tonight and go out just to kick off the, the weekend for real, for real. But I'll also be sharing my birthday plans with you all. I am going out of town, so that'll be a whole separate vlog. But I'll let you know what we have to look forward to. My good sis got these nails off. Okay, real quick. And in a hurry, pop them off. Okay, so we probably gonna cut him down. Ah! Just a look at this foundation. Literally flawless every single time, y'all. Wow, so I am running late for my hair appointment. So I'm gonna go ahead and go there and then I'll come back and get my nails polished sometime in the vlog. Um, I'm almost tempted to like keep them clear cause they just look so good. Oh my gosh, like I kinda think I'll just wait to get them polished maybe until tomorrow or my on my actual birthday because I could really do this. There's no like gel or anything on them, but just look at the quality of the foundation. Do you, what? Oh my goodness, so good. It's not even any oil on my cuticles. Oh, it, it, just, it just looks amazing. Whew. I, I don't know anyone that does nails this great. Incredible. Y'all can hear me, but she just took a look at my hair. Yes. So the middle of my hair is like really shrunk because I really haven't been able to do it. Um, but she was saying that there's she's seeing a lot of breakage. Hopefully it's not, but we'll see once we get into it. It's like just really mad, nasty. I mean, once we put some water on it, it'll pretty much like be fine, I think. But uh, hopefully we won't have to cut too much of my hair off. If we do, I'm probably just gonna go for a box. So we'll see how this goes. really good hair tip that I actually learned from her. By the way, this the girl has been doing my hair since I had a YouTube channel, so she's really the only person that's done my hair besides Tech. Um, but she's first we washed it with a tea tree shampoo, so that's what's like sitting in my hair right now. You can't even really see it. I guess the suds went down. But anyway, it feels so good on your scalp and it really helps clarify. Oh, it's just so great. Um, I love that she uses the tea tree shampoo first and then she like goes back in with like a moisturizing shampoo. We're gonna deep condition, hydrate, silk press, and trim. Um, and then I probably get like waves as a style, but oh, I'm just so excited. It feels so good for somebody to be all up in the scalp. And 
Yeah. We are under the hydration. <laughs> and I think I'll be under here for about 10 minutes. from under the steamer and now I'm going upstairs. This is a new salon by the way so I'm gonna give y'all a salon tour when I'm finished. When I'm all ready. Oh it's cute up here. He's grabbing a product from downstairs to put on my hair. It's probably like a heat protectant leave-in conditioner type thing or whatever. I'm going to sit under the dryer now. I can never do these at home. I be trying. There you go. Curl it and then get a comb over it. Well, I can never get the curl right. Oh. So like, like, I guess how you flip it after or whatever. I was like, yeah. Okay, we're going to take a So pretty. We're gonna do a tour of the salon. So let's get into it. So pretty in here. I love the lighting. It's great, you know, when you need a vlog or whatever. So let me show you guys the whole spot and yeah, hopefully you can visit soon. This is 
the upstairs, y'all saw. Washer dryers in there. It's really like a work live space, which is nice. There's a full kitchen actually up here. Um, but it is just the salon, so they have some shampoo bowls here. There's some other rooms. And then there's also a whole shampoo station downstairs, but you know, I just want to respect everybody's privacy. So I'll show you guys from the top here so you can kind of see. <laughs> I am absolutely starving. Also, my phones are about to die, which sucks. <laughs> but I'm gonna eat because I don't want to get all the way home and I just feel like I'm gonna go to sleep. Also, so my hair is styled in waves and I never know how to like preserve this style. Um, and I'm going to attempt to maybe like just kind of pin it up a little bit or whatever. Oh, nice. um, That's what we say. My, I don't mind if like my hair doesn't stay in the exact style because I know that it'll still look good regardless. Like even though, you know, I'll be doing stuff all weekend, but yeah, let's go grab some food. Bar Taco is one of my favorite spots. I love literally everything there. Every time I go out, I order like the whole menu, but we're gonna try not to do that today. Look at this hair, y'all. Stop playing with me. <laughs> okay, so I took my, wow, really? Some leftovers. And then I have a cup of ice. They have the best ice cubes. They're like those really big ice cubes. Um, anyway, waiting for my Uber. I really want to go get my pedicure. Oh, wait. Wow, look at this hair. I want to go get a pedicure. I realize that it's not as late as I thought it was. It's only like five o'clock. Um, so I can definitely go do that, but my phone is on 4%. So, and my other phone's dead. So I'm like, do I want to go with a phone that's dead or do I just want to go first thing in the morning? I can't really decide. It is the next morning, y'all. I was so tired yesterday. I think just being out all day just took me out. So I went to bed really early, but I am up early this morning. It is actually Saturday morning and I have my green juice. I'm about to head inside the nail shop and get a pedicure. Um, yes, yeah, little French tip pedicure, little spa, little deluxe, you know what I mean? Anyway, I totally also forgot my memory card at home because I edited a video today. So make sure you watch my Los Angeles vlog. It's pretty short, but still really cool. Just to, like go somewhere for a day. Um, yeah, totally left my memory card at home. So I am filming with my phone. I think that this is awesome for those of you that want to start a YouTube channel or are interested in being a content creator. Use your phone. You do not have to buy an expensive camera. I did not purchase a camera, y'all, myself until my third year as a content creator. I literally just started using a camera like with I would say the last 10 videos are from my vlog camera. So yeah, don't be discouraged if you don't have a professional camera, use your iPhone. Y'all can see that the quality is still really good. By the way, my hair still has the waves on this side. 
um i kind of slept on this side but that's okay because my birthday is like in two days so i think i'm just gonna try to recreate the waves i'm sure they'll be gone on this side in by monday anyway but i'll try to recreate them Ooh, hopefully i can do that anyway let's go ahead and get the petty this is the best never shave your legs before you go to the nail salon because you know the scrub is going to exfoliate and then give you a better shave so i always go when i'm hairy <laughs> Um, it's perfect. Oh, you know what? I gotta find a black owned like body scrub company that I can start bringing my soak and my own scrub to the salon. A pedicure complete. I always get French on my toes. Um, I got it a little bit thicker this time because the last time I got it super, super thin and you could like barely see it and it didn't really last. So I'm just gonna let these dry. I'm kind of hungry. But y'all this flying biscuit down here is packed so i'm trying to decide if i want to wait for my favorite sushi place to open i'm like let me treat myself to some more food i think i'm just gonna do that every day <laughs> until my birthday i'm back at home watching some youtube i'm actually watching videos about the city i'm visiting for my birthday so excited um i love doing this before i take any sort of trip I'm also drinking some tea. I love this mug. I'm drinking Evening Comfort, actually. It's so cold in here, and I'm probably gonna take a nap. But by the way, this is also how I preserve my hair. Um, I just have my bonnet on, and so this side fell because I sleep on this side of my head. I'm gonna sleep on this side tonight, and hopefully my hair is like kind of wavy, sort of, kind of, until I restyle it on my actual birthday. But yeah, anyway, watching the YouTube videos before you visit any city um, is definitely helpful. You're able to get a lot of recommendations from locals and people that have visited before. So I love watching vlogs and you can just type in things like best places to eat, food tour, things to do, and then just whatever city you're visiting. If you're planning a trip this summer, don't forget to do that. Do your YouTube research, okay? Because these are people that literally travel for a living more than likely um, and are also like into content creating and stuff. So they know what to look for. We <laughs> know what to look for when we are visiting a city. And I hope y'all are just so excited about the vlog to come because y'all know I'm vlogging my trip. I'm up. I just ordered some food. It actually is about to be delivered it was so fast. So I'm making some sauteed spinach um, because I just got chicken wings and I try not to, you know, eat like full meals without vegetables. So I have some sauteed spinach. L let me show y'all how disrespectful spinach is. I mean, you already know, but it's worth mentioning. My camera is still so dark. I don't know what's going on with it. I'm going to fix it before the travel vlogs, but this is an entire um what is it like container like one of those plastic containers of spinach y'all like brand new pop the seal ah! what the heck anyway i'm gonna go ahead and pull out some clothes i'm also finding snacks I'm trying to kind of decide what snacks i'm going to pack i always 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 bring snacks with me and it's a pretty long flight and it's a morning flight so i probably won't eat breakfast before I leave. I'll just have my love thy liver and then I like to have some snacks on the plane. So definitely going to bring some fruit. I have blueberries and grapefruit. I think it's like important just to kind of clean out your refrigerator before you go out of town anyway. And I have this kettle corn from Trader Joe's in my pantry. So I'm just gonna bring this entire bag with me. It's also a good hotel snack. Um, I'm grabbing my earrings to bring them in my room and we're gonna pull out a few dresses and outfits out my closet or just pieces out my closet so I can start putting some outfits together because I actually don't know um, exact. It is so dark. Here's the dress. I plan to wear this at my entire birthday, well, except for dinner. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited about it. It's, it's different and I hope it fits. So I got wings from a place in Atlanta called Chungman. Chung, Chung Man chicken. It's like an Asian fried chicken. Um, so good. This is their garlic spicy, but it's really like a sweet and spicy. And they give you a lot for, it's not that expensive either, except I'm not gonna eat all this. <laughs> um, the wings, I will say like, if you're kind of like me and you enjoy like a little bit of spice, but not overpowering, um, you probably only want to eat a few of these. I generally don't eat like more than six because girl, you're, it's like that lip burning feeling. However, they have more than just this flavor. Their curry is really good too. They have like a sweet curry wing, but they stay 
so crispy even though they toss them in the sauce. So yes, I'm about to dig in and then we'll finish packing. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with these jeans. Love, love, love how they fit. This is the first time I've like tried them on all the way. Um, yes, and they're like the perfect length. So this is a boyfriend jean by Nicole Linnell. Um, They fit so good and there's no butt gap at all. But I have this top on, it's like a button down top from J-Lux. Um, the back is out, ooh, my, my arm. The back is out, but I was actually thinking of wearing these jeans with a blazer. So I'm gonna see how that looks. What I may do is like wear the jeans to dinner with a blazer. And then if we go out or something like hookah or you know, like out for drinks, I can always change my top. Um, yeah, I think this looks great. I would actually go out tonight in this outfit. I forgot I had this dress. It's like a yellow blazer dress. I was like, oh, this would be really cute to wear maybe like the night before my birthday. Oh, actually, I don't have a night dress at all yet. Oh, yeah, so I need a dress for one dinner and then I think I'm gonna do jeans for another dinner. Yes! Okay, let's let's try. I'm gonna try these two blazers on, this white, like long blazer vest. Um, and then just this black blazer as well. But to be honest, I did not realize that these jeans would be this high waisted. Like, I, I'm glad they are, but I'm like, dang, I wish I would have ordered a crop blazer because that would have been perfect. This is what the blazer looks like. This is just a regular black blazer, y'all. So I could do it without a shirt underneath at all. Um, or I could do like a black crop top, but I think for dinner I would just go for no shirt because it does fit like oversized So I have enough room to move around without feeling like something's gonna happen. So this is the white um, Don't like this for one. I love this blazer, but it's just not with jeans like No, not not with a boyfriend jean either like possibly with a skinny jean, but this is like weird anyway also um it's pulling like I have plenty of room in my waist, but it's definitely pulling. So I don't know. I definitely just feel like I should wear a shirt under this. Um, still an option. I actually have an idea for this blazer. I have like these cigarette pants with like the side slit. So let me put those on and see what it looks like. Totally forgot I have this like crop blazer. This is actually to a suit. Um, so, so cute. It's not tied properly because I couldn't really like pull it around my back right but anyway um I think it looks really good with this and it'll actually go with my earrings so I'm kind of like this is an option um yeah let me show you guys with the pants I don't know if I can fit the pants and they need to be tailored but if I can fit them I may even just save the jean for like going out um and do a more casual look with the jean I don't let me just put the pants on. Here's the set together. Y'all, it's so cute, but it's so tight in my waist. <laughs> like, I need to lose about two inches off my waist. I really would prefer the pants to be a, almost a little too big in the waist. And then y'all can see the bottom. Um, I mean, with a really tall heel, it could work. I could, like, scrunch up the bottom of the pants. That's an option. I'll probably wait until I can fit the pants and then decide if I want to get it tailored or not. But I love the blazer with the jeans. I don't know what you want to call these. Slit leg pants, leggings, something. These are from Zara. Um, however, I just realized that they're large, so a little too big, but if I wear something like cologne with it, you can't really tell. Here is the same blazer. Of course, I can button it, but I think if I do this, I probably will wear like a crop underneath just so that if we go out or something, you know, afterward, I can take it off and kind of just have a two piece set. <laughs> no, I'm blogging. Here's another option, y'all. I'm thinking this could be like a birthday dinner outfit, actually. It is my golden year, so it was given very. <laughs> Living my life like it's golden. All right, I have a couple bodysuits here that I'm going to bring. So this is a misguided with like a, de a button detail and then just like this slinky, I think this is misguided also actually, um, one shoulder long sleeve black bodysuit. I also have this dress which I actually wore in another vlog, I think. I wore it to brunch for one of my friends like going away party. Um, it's super cute and I was thinking of possibly dressing it down and doing like a sporty chic look, putting a pair of sneakers on and making this like my exploring the city look um, because I could still get really cute photos in it. And then this is a Nike outfit, which I'm 
probably gonna wear these shoes with. So either one of these for like exploring the city. I really want y'all to see how dark the camera is. Okay. So look at, I'm, I'm down here packing by the way. I was about to start filming the packing. So you all can see like how light it looks, right? This is just like the viewfinder when I hit record. Why is it that dark? <laughs> I've been trying to figure this out all day and I really want to obviously show you guys all of my packing here. So, um, watch. What? Okay, so I'm gonna figure it out before I finish the packing because I have some good tips and I need to share them. If I put a product up, it's gonna focus on it. Just wanna make sure it works. running a test will prevent you so much the shoot, it, by the way. Available on the site. Like <laughs> so you probably have heard this before, but roll your clothes, okay? I never check my bag, y'all. I never bring a bag that is too large to fit in an overhead bin. And so I know that all of y'all, okay, can pack multiple pairs of shoes, purses, sunglasses, jewelry, your makeup, your skincare, and clothes for at very minimum seven days, okay, in one bag. I've actually packed a carry-on bag um, for an 11 day trip to Hong Kong and I actually ended up staying an additional three days because I got caught in Seattle. So yeah, a two week trip in one bag. Okay, so do, and I'm talking like two, three outfits a day, okay? Your girl be over packing for sure. So make sure you are rolling your clothes. Anything that um, is really small or like, I guess you can kind of say flexible. Put it in the, the corners, you know what I mean? Like stop laying your clothes flat. You should be putting socks in your sneakers that you pack. Um, swimsuits are one of the easiest things to pack. Like swimsuits can fit in these little corners here. They can literally fit. There should be no space left in your bag. So generally on one side of my bag, I always like the side that I put shoes is where I'm stuffing all those little things like socks, crop tops, um, you know, just casual t-shirts. Um, just like things that like casual wear basically. Now on the other side is where I put my nicer clothes. So generally I'll like pack all of my brunch and dinner outfits on one side. Most of the times these items are a little bit bigger but I still roll them so I'm gonna show you how I do that. And this is a base bag so I will show you the pockets in the bag and everything before I'm finished. Another tip for sure is to pack in the order that you plan to wear the clothes. So anything that you are gonna wear at the end of your trip, go ahead and pack first. That way you're not having to like pull everything out your suitcase. I like to hang my clothes in hotels and you know, Airbnbs or whatever, but um, I don't hang everything. I try to like keep the room nice and neat so I'm not just pulling a bunch of stuff out of my bag. And oh, I just don't like when there's like clothes all over a hotel room. So yeah, try to, you know, keep it organized. I am bringing this backup jumpsuit. I know that it's really cold. From what I understand, I just got off the phone, that it can get really cold where I'm going. So I'm going to bring this jumpsuit that's long sleeve and pack it in the bottom of my bag. So you guys can see how big this is. It's actually really thick, great quality. Um, and I am going to roll this. So let's fold at the top. And then we're basically just going to lay it like this in half fold it in half it's so big <laughs> boom we will throw the arms over in the middle like you're folding you know a long sleeve t-shirt fold it over again and then i'm going to roll and this has a belt to it so i'm just gonna like kind of secure it with the belt around like that and then place it right in this little between the basically it's like between the um handles of my suitcase so there's like some ridges here i did the same thing with my birthday dress here right on top of my birthday dinner dress super simple let's continue All right, so for this blazer, I'm gonna keep it 
um, the collar intact like this. Almost finished here. I put the body black bodysuit here. This is what I mean by you can stuff things. There's so much more room in here. I can probably fit another two pair of pants and at least six shirts, y'all. Like there's so much room all in this area. Like look at all of that space. Um, and then obviously on the top too. Sometimes I'll put like a hoodie or sweatpants or something right here on the top. But I'm not going to do that because I really just don't need to pack that much. I'm going to talk a little bit about overpacking and the things that you do not need to bring. <laughs> um, I also have this bodysuit so I'm going to just stuff it right on the side as well. And then when it comes to like my pajamas, underclothes, um, I like to put them in this pocket right here. So I just have like some pajamas, leggings. And I also put my underwear all in here. Um, what else? Oh, the bags also come with like the not basics, which don't know what this is actually for. And then also the dirt bag. Um, so that's like for your dirty laundry. I think that this is an essential for sure when it comes to your luggage. You should not be putting, especially like dirty swimsuits and underwear and stuff. Um, next to your clean clothes so try to keep some sort of like dirt bag in your luggage and it makes it so easy when you get home a lot of people dread the unpacking experience <laughs> where you can just take this bag like I literally fill this bag up till it's busting wide open and I lay it on this side of my suitcase and so this whole side is generally dirty clothes when I'm finished and then I still have like my shoes and bags and everything over here but you can just dump the whole bag in the wash machine and yeah you're unpacked here's the jewelry i'm bringing these are some more custom earrings from phase collection there this is the same company that made my birthday earrings that's in the birthday box so i'll be wearing these for the majority of the trip actually so i'm gonna bring a backup pair just in case i wear um the boyfriend jeans with that black blazer i think these will be really pretty with that and then I just have like some other options here. This is another, um, you know, like dinner outfit earring, little statement earring there. If I do that black blazer, love these too, which I could wear with like the sage colored crop blazer and boyfriend jeans. And then of course hoops because you can never go anywhere without hoops. I'm just gonna literally put all of this jewelry in this pocket right here. And I'm almost done packing. It'll be time to go to sleep. I usually do my carry-on bag or my like personal item, I guess is what the airlines call it, um, in the morning. So my tea and all that stuff I'll do in the morning. I'm probably going to bring that fruit with me, so I need to cut up. Oh, this is great. <laughs> No, I cannot forget my Sunday ritual slippers. I literally bring them everywhere with me and then I just throw them in the wash machine. I always have a designated slipper like for outside, for hotels, and then for inside of my house. But I just washed all four colors. So I'm switching them out and I'm going to bring the gray ones with me on this trip. The last trip I went on, I brought the pink ones with me. Um, but they are just, even after being washed in the wash machine and dried like a few times, look how fluffy they are. Ah, uh, so freaking beautiful. They are just so comfortable. Like, oh my goodness. Ah, uh, doesn't get any better than that. Okay, so I'm gonna put these right in my bag. And I think I'm just gonna plop them. Let me see if I can kind of squeeze them somewhere. Yes, I can. Here's my base cosmetic bag. It actually goes perfectly with my suitcase. So I'm gonna pack this up really quickly and then I'm going to sleep.
I always leave my suitcase open just because at the last minute, you know, I like to throw stuff in there. And I have a bunch of room over in this area and like in between all of these shoes. So I added another dress and then of course I have my bags that I'm just gonna lay right on top here. I also added this little fanny pack which would be nice while I'm like, you know, just around the city. And then I have some more room in my cosmetic bag as well. The makeup brush area is on the top here so it's super convenient and there's also a mirror that's included. But um, if I, you know, need to throw anything extra in here, I may bring another perfume possibly but i like to just leave room just in case um yeah super simple everything will close nice and easy and i will be on my way in the mornings good night got my love that lover this morning on the way to the airport early time. this airport is packed the, the security line doesn't even start at the beginning of security. It starts like at baggage claim. It's crazy. Like, <laughs> so we're getting escorted <laughs> to basically um, just skip the line. Now. We made it, y'all. <laughs> All right, we have a little over or no under an hour, so we're running really good on time. Um, we have to run to the flight attendant lounge, and then we are gonna go to our gate, and I'll show you guys where we're going. White, Carla, are you here? Found my passenger, Carla White. Call Carl White. All right, y'all, so the plane is packed. For Weedy. Um, yeah. yeah, so the plane is packed, but there's quite a few passengers missing, so a lot of you guys always ask, do flight attendants fly for free? Yes, we do, we fly for free. Um, sometimes we do have to pay like small rates, but generally when we are traveling within the United States, we do not. It's completely free, but you travel standby. So that basically means that you're like on call um, or you're like just sitting standby. Like someone doesn't, you know, they have to have an empty seat or there's like confirmed paid passengers that maybe missed the flight. And so that's how you get a seat. So this plane is really big. It's actually like one of our international planes and there's quite a few people missing so that's good um, because there were not any empty seats the flight was completely sold out let's get into the end of the video here we are traveling to san francisco for my birthday for my golden year i'm going to show you guys a little bit of my plane routine um and then i'm probably going to sleep What's y'all's take on the whole bonnets in public? I feel like it doesn't count on planes. You know, once you sit down. I mean, it is real bright, but that's my business. so much for watching i took myself a little nap um of course there will be a san francisco vlog we're also going to napa valley while we're here so i'm super excited to share with you guys make sure you are subscribed your post notifications are turned on so you don't miss oh the line the vlogs 
and I will catch you in the next video.